Hello, and thank you for joining me on another one of my lifestyle series videos. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dimitri, and I'm an American expat living in the Philippines. Here, I'm going to share with you how my life is going living in Metro Manila. If you find this video entertaining, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And now, sit back, relax, and enjoy as I take in a journey of my daily life as a time-lapse traveler. That's one of the things that you will only find in the Philippines. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Time-Lapse Traveler. This time I'm out here on BGC High Street where we're celebrating the release of my recent restaurant tour video. And so we're going to the Noragami Japanese restaurant. So let's go inside and see what the food is like, since I already posted an overview of the restaurants here in this neighborhood, and I hope you get to see it. We've been to this place before, and it's a good time to visit it again. So here we are. The way it works here is that you check out the menu right here at the counter instead of looking through a traditional book style menu. So let's see, what are we gonna get this time? You just have to, as they say, turo turo, and then the kuya is going to get the order. I remember I got this katsu curry rice last time. What is that? Sukiyaki ninja udon. That actually sounds kind of interesting. Just depending on the kind of meat it comes with, since, as you know, I prefer to get chicken. Maybe I'll get chicken python. Oh no, <laughs> never mind, not that one. So, which one are you thinking of? Which one looks good to you? I can't help but notice that bukiyaki does not sound very tasty, just from the name. I mean, I'm sure it's a good dish, but it just sounds kind of yucky to me. <laughs> Sorry for the corny joke. Maybe I should get the teriyaki chicken don. No, no, you know what? I'll get the teriyaki chicken special. Feeling kind of special today. So which one are you going to get? The sukiyaki ninja don? All right, you got it. Hello. We would like to get the regular size sukiyaki ninja don and the teriyaki chicken special. Oh, also the vegetable kakiyage. Uh, yep, that's it. Thank you. Now let's grab a table and wait for the food to come. Where would you like to sit? There's a nice looking booth table at the front. Guess what, before you know it, the food is already here. Well, at least uh, part of it. We got the appetizer and Chris's meal is here already. So, yeah, we're ready to dig in. And you know what, it's really good, especially for the price. Mm. And considering where we are, I mean, this is really one of the, the coolest neighborhoods to be eating out in. Getting the value that we're having over here, really hard to beat that. Well, let's just wait for the rest of the food to come in. All right, so the rest of the food is here now, and this is looking like a very special old meal. I'm not a big fan of kimchi, generally, but yeah, this really looks like kimchi. This is kimchi, isn't it? <laughs> mm. This is really good. If this is kimchi, which it looks like it is, then that's a really nice surprise because I'm generally not a fan of that, but this tastes really nice. Mm, mm, mm. 
and let's see how the chicken is. Mm. I definitely love the teriyaki flavor. It's so good. You can have it without the rice though. Mm -hmm. Definitely have to have the rice together with it. Well, hot damn, you know what? When it comes to value for the money, especially in this neighborhood, here on BGC High Street, you cannot beat this. This food is really good, right? What do you think? Good. Yeah, better value than uh, Pancake House down the block, but quality of the food here and uh, the uniqueness of the food just does not compare. If you're hungry and you like Japanese food on any level, or if you're curious, I definitely very, very strongly recommend Anybody who's in this neighborhood to check out Marugami Udon, for sure, hands down, definitely worthwhile to go to this place and have dinner over here, lunch, breakfast, whatever. Would you look at that? There's already a line over here. And definitely a good reason for that, because this place, it really rocks. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Always take care of yourselves and each other and <laughs> Keep looking out for new videos coming at you from the Time Lapse Traveler. <laughs>